What's up guys, David here, and today we've got a squad builder, this is the squad that I am using at the moment, it's working really well for me, so I thought I may as well share it with you guys. So if you guys do enjoy the video and you want to see more squad builders, remember to drop a like down below and also let me know in the comments. So just before we start talking about the squad, I'd just like to say I've won uh, every game with this squad so far, so it's, I, I think it's a really decent squad, so uh, yeah, let's start, let's, start off with, let's start off with the first player. So starting off in goal, we have Zeal, and this guy is just absolutely amazing, He's, uh, we've at the moment we're in the 13 games that we've played, I think we've only conceded like 4 or 5 goals, so Zeal has just, Zeal has been like the main part of that really to making so many saves for me. So in right back we have Manquillo and this guy is pretty decent. We got him in our first pack I think on FIFA 17 which is pretty cool and uh, yeah he's just a really solid right back. I didn't want to be going out and spending money on right backs because Premier League right backs are just just cost so much at the moment. At right centre back we've got the beast Funus Mori. This guy is actually awesome. I, I really like I really like playing with him. He's really good really good at tackling. I just just like just like to put that out there. He's a really good defender. So uh, yeah if you're looking for a Premier League centre back that's cheap I definitely recommend Funus Mori. At left centre back we've got Gabriel, I've only played one game with this guy because I literally just packed him today, he had a solid first game, normally I do play Cabaselli, he was, he was an absolute tank, so I'll show you him now, he's he's been my main centre back, he's been the best, he's probably been the best defender out, out of the ones that I've got. At left back we've got Alberto Moreno, and this guy, he, he can actually defend for some reason on, on FIFA 17, can't defend in real life, but he, can, he seems to do a good job at left back for me, and he's a, another first owner, I seem to be packing a lot of these players. At left centre mid we've got Pereira, and I did buy this guy last night just because I really needed another centre mid, and this guy's just an absolute beast, high high work rates. Well, runs up and down, just a really good player, good on the balls, or good at passing, just everything you want really, he's a really good player. Alright, so we've got Danny Drinkwater, so this guy's quite good, he sometimes seems to get lost to me, he sometimes just seems to go up and stand up, right, he seems to stand up front and then not get back, but... Uh, Mainly, he's been a good centre. He's a good centre mid for me. At Cam, we've got Lanzini, who's currently injured right now, which is a bit of a shame because he is one of the best players in the team, if not the best. He's, re he's really good. Played seven with him, scored three, got five assists. Really, really good player. I just, I just love playing with him. So at left wing, we've got Theo Walcott, and this is a Pat Paul player again. I got him in an untradeable Pat Paul in them squad building challenges. And yeah, this guy is just, he's, this guy's just so good. He's so quick. He can literally just do a big touch around any defender and he'll be able to outpace him. And his record for the club seven games, four goals, and three assists. So pretty good record as well. Now at striker, we've got Dan. Danny Ings, and this may, may seem uh, quite surprising to some people just because uh, there's so many decent Premier League strikers at the moment. There's like Callum Wilson there, and there's uh, Abel Hernandez, so many other good, cheap Premier League strikers. So uh, I got, I've, I've chosen to go with Danny Ings. He's got high, high wearers, which is a bit of a problem. I prefer him to have high, medium wearers, but still, he's played five, scored nine. So he, he, he can just score goals so easily. And at right wing, we have Andros Townsend, and this guy's really good as well. He's just so quick. Uh, he's played six, scored two, assisted four, so, four, so he's got another good record for us. So, Moving on to the bench, we've got so many more players as well. The first player on the bench is Fagouli, and uh, he's not he's not done great for me by like, on his record, but he just seems to play quite well. He's just not done very well uh, statistically. And there's Cabaselli again, who we've already talked about, who's just an absolute tank. Then we've got Andre Gray. I don't really play much. He's one of my third, my third strike. I did just have Batshuayi, but I just bought Andre Gray quite recently just because... I just thought I may, I may as well do it, and uh, yeah, Batsugari wasn't great to be honest, so that's why I sold him and bought Andre Gray. As our bench left back, we've got Rojo, and uh, he's, he's not very much to talk about really to do with him, he's just a uh, pretty average player really. As our other bench centre back, we've got Virgil van Dijk, and this guy is really good. He did he did have a bit of a shocker in his debut for me, he scored an own goal, but he's, he's been he's been sick ever since then, he's a uh, 6 4 High medium words, which is a bit of a problem, but he's got really good stats, like really tall, so a good defender to have. As a bench left wing, we've got another Southampton player, that is Buffal. He's not, he's not like he's done great against statistically, but he's quite a good player. I, 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 don't, I wouldn't say he's amazing, but he's not a bad player to have. So as our bench cam or centre mid, we've got Sigurdsson. I play him either one, really. So uh, yeah, he's played six for him, he scored four and assisted two, been a really good player. Good at free kicks, so yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend buying Sigurdsson. As another bench centre mid, we've got Eric Dyer. I just thought I'd buy him just because I wanted to have a CDM which would sit back and uh, do a good job, really. So I've got Eric Dyer there just to sit back and do a job. As our other bench striker, we've got Jermaine Defoe, and he's played one score and I literally just packed him earlier today. So uh, yeah, it's not a bad player to pack. I've got him one of them um, gold upgrade packs, so you get two rare gold players. So yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool getting him, so he's not a bad player to have. As our bench right back, we've got Jan Matt just because the right backs are so expensive. I just wanted to get a cheap bench right back. And at Cam, we have got ourselves Bojan, who's, he, he seems to score. Like, he's played six, scores uh, seven, but not got any assists, but he's still a really good player. And as our last player in the squad, we've got Francis Cockerland, and he's uh, still a pretty decent player. I got him in a pack, I've got him in one of my pack openings, so yeah, he's not a bad player. And yeah, I'm just going to show you my record just to confirm that, so you guys don't think I'm lying. Remember, my record's 15 to 1, but uh, I've only actually played 13 games with this team, because the other three games have been a uh, foot draft, uh, foot draft, uh, the blind foot draft, you can see it on my channel. So yeah, I won two and lost one in that, so that's just confirmation. And there will be gameplay coming of this squad very soon, because foot champions is here now, and uh, I have played quite a few games of foot champions, so 
I've, I've got that on record, so I'll be doing a Foot Champions video very, very soon. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that, because that's quite exciting. Yeah, in that video, you will be able to see gameplay of this team, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do drop a like on it. Let me know what you think of the squad. And also, let me know what squad you've got at the moment. I'll be, uh, well, be interested to know that. But anyway, guys, this is about the end of the video. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.